When you mix alcohol with an energy drink, the first thing that hits your mouth is a cold, sweet, fizzy liquid, and you swallow repeated gulps that slide down the esophagus in smooth waves and drop into the sealed stomach, where the carbonation expands into gas and the sugar rushes into your system fast. Because it's liquid, alcohol doesn't need digestion, so a large portion moves quickly into the small intestine where alcohol is absorbed straight into the bloodstream, while caffeine from the energy drink is also absorbed and starts pushing your body in the opposite direction. In your brain, alcohol slows signals and weakens judgment, but caffeine blocks the tired signals, so you can feel more awake while your thinking and coordination are still getting worse, which is one reason this mix is risky. Your heart may start beating faster because caffeine stimulates it, and alcohol changes how your body handles stress. And at the same time, the sugar spike can push your body to release more insulin. Then later, you can crash hard with shakiness and fatigue. In the liver, alcohol becomes the top priority to process, while the rest of the body keeps circulating caffeine and sugar. And that mismatch can leave you feeling energized on the outside, but overloaded on the inside. In the stomach, the acidic, carbonated mix can cause burning, nausea, burping and bloating. And because alcohol reduces a hormone that helps you hold water, you lose fluids faster, making dehydration and headache more likely. The confident feeling can trick you into drinking more, but the body doesn't become safer, it just becomes more confused, which is why avoiding this mix and choosing abstinence is the safest option for your body. Why can this combo make you feel awake but still mess up your judgment? Why do people crash so hard after the energy fades? What do you think happens if someone repeats this mix every weekend? Comment your thoughts below and subscribe and follow for more ED videos.